Plastic is plastic is everywhere. From the water bottles in your backpack to the sneakers on your feet to the computers we learn on. It's part of our daily lives. But what happens to all that plastic? And why does it matter? That's the story we need to talk about. Plastic is a new invention. It's only been around for about 70 years, but it's completely changed almost everything we use, from packaging to cars. It's strong, cheap to make, and designed to last. But that can also be the problem. Once plastic is thrown away, it sticks around. Even after hundreds of years, it only breaks into smaller and smaller pieces. 70% of all the plastic we use becomes waste. Everything from plastic utensils to old electronics. So how does so much of this waste end up in nature? Rain and wind often carry trash into rivers, streams, and drains. And a lot of this trash ends up here. Most waterways lead straight into the ocean. That's why so much plastic ends up floating in our seas. It's the final stop for a lot of escaped plastic. It's estimated that around 20 million tons of plastic waste enters our waterways each year. That's the same as dumping 2,000 garbage trucks full of plastic into our lakes, rivers, and oceans every single day. And all this plastic in nature has major impacts on wildlife and even our own health. Animals on land and in the ocean mistake plastic for food, leading to serious illness or death. Once they eat it, it can be toxic, or it can fill their stomachs and give them a false sense of being full, so much so that they starve. Another big plastic problem for oceans is ghost gear, that is, fishing gear or fishing nets that are lost or abandoned at sea. Ghost gear floats freely through the ocean, contaminating ocean ecosystems and trapping and killing wildlife. And all of this plastic waste doesn't just disappear. Instead, it can break down into tiny fragments called microplastics. These tiny pieces are especially dangerous because they can travel easily, and some are so small you can't even see them. Once microplastics get into nature, they can stay there indefinitely, moving through water, soil, and living things. They can even end up in the food we eat and the water we drink. Plastic pollution doesn't affect everyone equally. Vulnerable populations like low- and middle-income communities are particularly affected by plastic. These neighborhoods can be built in less desirable areas or located near plastic manufacturing plants where pollution of toxic chemicals impact the environment and people's health. And here in the U.S., that's a big deal because the United States makes a lot of plastic and is the largest producer of plastic waste in the world. But the good news is, since so much plastic is made here, there's a lot we can do to stop the problem. This starts with businesses and governments rethinking how plastic is made, used, reused, recycled, and thrown away. And as consumers, it also starts with us rethinking how we choose to use plastic each day. You can start making a difference right now with the three R's. Reduce, reuse, recycle. The easiest step is to simply reduce your plastic use. Say no to unnecessary single-use plastic, like straws, plastic utensils, or plastic bags that commonly end up in nature. Reuse. This R packs a big punch, too. Replace single-use plastic with your own reusable options, like reusable water bottles or shopping bags. Recycling is great, too. Recycling allows a lot of plastic to become new items. But remember, not all plastic can be recycled. Most places only recycle number one and number two plastics, things like water bottles and milk jugs. Be sure to check with your local recycling center to confirm the types of plastic they accept. Together, these small actions make a huge difference. The more people who reduce, reuse, and recycle, the less plastic that will end up in nature. And one more thing, when you see plastic in nature, pick it up and put it in the right bin. Teach your friends and family about what you learned and help your local community to keep plastic from affecting our health and our environment. You are the start of change. Let's keep nature clean, happy, and healthy together. 
To learn more, to learn more, visit worldwildlife.org/plastics. Pond five.